Hey everyone! For this demo, I'm going to show you what it takes to update a Composer solution to use the new Conga Sign connector. So to start us out, I am here in a Conga Composer button, and the main couple of changes that we're going to need is to update two of these parameters. So the first one that I'm going to be updating is this DS7 parameter. For those of you who aren't in the know, this is the background mode parameter that is used in Composer. Right now, it is using the value 1141. What that does is it says to Composer, once you are done merging this document, please hand it over to CongaSign Professional. Well, in this case, we don't want it to hand over to CongaSign Professional anymore. We want it to hand over to CongaSign. So in order to do that, I'm going to update this DS7 parameter to now be DS7 equals 1143. So now, once I save this button, what will happen is Composer will generate the document and then it will pass it over to Conga Sign so it can use the connector and send out for signature. The other update that I'm going to make to this button is I would like to add a parameter that is CS package name. And what this does is because we are using CongaSign, CongaSign requires you to have a name for your package or for your transaction. So this parameter will give a name to that transaction and make sure that it can be created without error. And with that, we're done. So I have updated my two parameters. The CS re recipient parameter will still be available and can remain the same, the same one that it is. And then the template ID is still going to be set to the Conga template ID. Whatever is put in here, I have it set as an ID. If you have the key, that will still work. So all of that can remain the same. So that's all the updates I need with this button. So I'll go ahead and quick save that. And moving on, uh, from here, I'm going to go into my Conga template. We can see that this is my template ID and within Salesforce, I'm going to want to go to the template that has that matching ID. You can also, if you know the name of it, find it that way, but no matter what, you're gonna wanna go into your Conga template and make sure that all of the signature tags have been updated to match the Conga signed signature tags. So if I take a look at the document that's currently being used for this template, we can see that it's using signed professional signature tags. It also has merge tags that are for Composer specifically. All of the Composer merge tags can stay exactly the same. The only thing that we will need to update is the Conga sign merge tags. So and again, instead of having those sign professional merge tags, we're going to want to update them to use the Conga sign merge tags. So I have the document downloaded here. We can see on my computer that I have those sign merge tags. And what I'm going to do now is just copy and paste the right syntax into each of these spots. So I have transferred in a, the conga sign syntax for the signature block itself. Next, I'm going to paste in the signer name signature tag for having that signer name populate. And then finally, I'm going to copy paste the signer title. So each of these has different syntax to what we had with Sign Professional, but it is a quick copy paste. There's also an article that states all of the different tags that they are and gives you the syntax for what this would look like. So you can find that on our documentation site. So once I'm done updating those tags, uh, you can see that I already pre-named this updated. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then within Salesforce, I'm going to upload my file, select my updated document. And then once I've updated my doc or uploaded my document, that's updated and ready to go within my signature solution. So those are the only changes that need to be made. Again, that is a couple of updates to the parameters and swapping out tags. Once those pieces are in place, your solution is now good to go. So if we look at the button, we can see that this is my send for NDA solution. It lives on the account object and I have that button available here. So when I click it, what it's going to do is exactly what the parameters tell it to do. Composer is going to go in, it's going to take that template and then merge in the different data that is needed within that template. 
So we'll let it go through that process now. And once it's done merging all of that data into the template, it is going to pass off to Conga Sign to have it the document that it merged the data into available to then send out for signature. So you can see that the date was merged in as well as information about the different companies. And if I scroll to the bottom, those signature tags that I updated are automatically picked up by Conga Sign and stamped onto the document so you can send out for signature. For the sake of the sender, what they would do from here is they can check and make sure that everything is set up the way that they want it to be, and then they can go ahead and send it to sign. The transaction was created successfully. It will, they can go back to the account record, and from here, the transaction can be signed as per usual. So with that, we've seen what it takes to convert a composer solution to work with the new Conga sign connector. All roads lead to the Conga customer community. Connect with peers, access exclusive resources, and stay ahead with the latest insights. Click the link in the video description to log in now and start exploring.